Riddle me this. Who's the most perfect villain for the Bat? Man. For Batman. Batman. Ah, oh, the direct approach. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie Batarang. The like button, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our videos. We're pumping them out. We love it. Andrew Fantasia doing Marvel slash DC United. Today we are talking about Batman and my favorite villain. Look, he's got some great villains, right? Joker, Riddler, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, Egghead, Louis the Lilac. There's so many great Batman villains that we have seen on screen. Hopefully we get more on the big screen, but that remains to be seen. But I want to talk about who I believe is Batman's greatest foe, the best villain that lines up with who Batman is. And you're going to disagree, but I want to know who you think it is in the comments down below, because that's what the fun of this is, is we're discussing. But look, he's my favorite <laughs> Batman villain. So I'm going to say this character every day of the week, but now I've put up uh, an argument, an essay as to why. And then, you know, so uh, why don't we dive right in and discuss why the penguin is Batman's greatest foe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, sweetheart. You looking for me? Let's get one thing straight. The penguin is not your average supervillain. In a city of madmen and monsters, he's a man with a plan. But it's not just his devious schemes that make him the ideal counterpoint to the Dark Knight. From comics to TV and modern streaming series, Penguin's been a constant thorn in Batman's side for decades. And yet, there's something refreshingly unique about him. Let's talk about his look. Unlike chaotic Joker or the muscular menace of Bane, Penguin is, well, he's short, pudgy, and carries a fancy umbrella. I mean, in any other scenario, you'd think he was the villain of a British comedy, not a Gotham crime lord. But don't let the tuxedo and top hat fool you. This bird is no joke. His sophisticated attire is actually a symbol of control, something Batman represents in his fight against Gotham's madness. While Gotham descends into chaos, Penguin is the polished, primed businessman. He's not looking to burn the city down. He's just looking to run it. That's what makes him such a perfect foil for Batman, who's more interested in maintaining justice than in ruling over Gotham. Penguin isn't about brute force like so many of Batman's other foes. Oh, no, no, no. For what crime? What the heck are you planning? <laughs> Nothing. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Ozcob, a.k.a. the Penguin, is a criminal mastermind, the ultimate schemer. In comics like Batman No Man's Land, Penguin isn't physically terrorizing the city, but he's working in the shadows, profiting from Gotham's destruction. He uses intellect, manipulation, and of course, his empire of crime to hold his own. That, my friends, is a villain who works within the system. In fact, unlike other villains, Cobblepot Cobb can blend into society. He owns businesses, attends high society events. He's essentially untouchable in ways that the Joker or Two-Face could only dream of. This sophistication makes Penguin a very different kind of threat. Batman may fight criminals in the streets, but Cobblepot is a reminder that sometimes the real bad guys are wearing suits and smiling at you from across the table. Now let's talk a little bit about how he's evolved across different media. We've seen the Penguin as a campy villain in the 1960s Batman show, where he was portrayed by Burgess Meredith brilliantly, always cracking and waving his umbrella. This version was almost a caricature, a jolly villain you could laugh at. But even then, he had an edge. He was sharp, intelligent, and always one step ahead of Gotham's finest. Then came Tim Burton's Batman Returns with Danny DeVito. Gone was the camp. Things change. Enter the grotesque and tragic version of Cobblepot. This penguin was an outcast, abandoned by his family and seeking revenge on the world. DeVito brought a mix of grotesque horror and pathos to the role. He was part monster, part misunderstood. His physical deformities mirrored his internal bitterness. And yet, even in his darker form, Penguin's core traits remained ambition, intellect, and manipulation. Fast forward to modern versions like Gotham, a show that gave us a younger, ambitious, and calculating cobblepot played by Robin Lord Taylor. This portrayal of Penguin feels dangerously real. Watching his rise from small-time crook to criminal kingpin, we see just how dangerous someone like cobblepot can be when they understand the chessboard 
of Gotham's underworld. Even in the animated series, like Batman the Animated Series and The Batman, Penguin is portrayed as one of Gotham's most well-connected villains. His network is as powerful as his wits. He isn't just throwing punches, he's pulling strings. And now let's not forget his trademark weapon, the Umbrella. Sure, on the surface it seems like a ridiculous gimmick. A weaponized umbrella? Really? But when you think about it, that's what makes it so Penguin. The Umbrella is unexpected, much like the villain himself. It can be a gun, a sword, a shield, his own little Swiss army knife of villainy. It's the perfect symbol of who Penguin is, outwardly harmless, but deceptively deadly. Now let's get right into why he is the perfect Batman villain. Batman's entire mission is about order, bringing a sense of justice to a world that seems to be spiraling into madness. And who better to represent the opposite of Batman's mission than a villain like Penguin, who thrives in the gray areas of Gotham's underworld? Cobblepot is a businessman, and in his mind, he's not doing anything wrong. He's simply giving the city what it needs. Illegal weapons, smuggling rings, corrupt politicians, you know, the usual Gotham, you know, the usual Gotham business model. And that's why he's so difficult for Batman to defeat. Penguin's crimes aren't always violent. They're hidden behind layers of legality, money laundering, and connections. He thrives in a space where brute force can't solve the problem. Penguin is not just a villain Batman needs to stop. He's a villain Batman has to outthink. And in a city like Gotham, where chaos rules the streets, Oswald Cobblepot is often the most dangerous man in the room. And those are my points for why Penguin Oz Cobb, Oswald Cobblepot is Batman's greatest foe. There are different iterations of him. They've taken him in many different routes. And in some cases, they've made him a her. But Penguin has got always one thing. He walks and he quacks. Quacks, quacks. <laughs> Colin Farrell, fantastic job. DeVito, fantastic. Burgess Meredith, I grew up with and is my favorite penguin from my childhood, obviously. Uh, I've loved them all. He's my favorite. What do you guys think? Who's your favorite Batman villain? And who do you think is the most perfect Batman for the Caped Crusader? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may Batman may be the master of your own universe.